Hello gamers and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Imperator Rome. <clears throat> I think there will be some peace now because what I need to do is uh, the mission. And I'm going for uh, Grand Religious Endowments. Uh, which basically means I need to make four endowments which is going to take some time. It won't cost me any money. Sad news. Oh man, there's so much going on. We bring sad news, Tiberius Cornelius died from overwork. He was Pontifex Maximus and member of the Corneli family who are now scorned. The head of the devout religious faction has approached us with a broad smile on his face without a trace of his sickly grin leaving his visage. He politely offers us the support of a portion of the religious faction. Well, it would cost us money. The poor won't see a penny of this. He would lose loyalty. Secundus is basically a shit character. It would reduce my omen power though. And thus also cost me lots of money. So let's go for this one actually. Well... Hmm. This all sucks. 10% reduced omen power. Let's go for that one. Now I've got the scorned family. Luckily this guy is kind of capable. Now, do I want an invention already? Possibly mathematics to reduce building costs. Hmm. Census data. I'd like that for religious endowments. It's supposed to be level 3, so maybe moral recovery, national tribesmen, state religion, happiness. go to reduce building costs. This will be helpful in the long run. In any case, I don't need more import routes because I can't import more anyway. Oh, now I can. Olives. Or wood. Each surplus in Providence gives me plus 3% local tax. Now that's actually quite tempting. Now I get chip recruitment speed and Rome gets local tax plus 3%. That's really good. And while the game is running I need to consider my next move. Now Sabinia is my ally. No. Well, they have a defensive league with Umbria. And then an alliance with Pequena, whatever that is. There. On whom should I make a next, my next move? I was thinking about Crete, or Knossos or something. How many cohorts do they have? Only six. Let's fabricate a claim. On Crete, I think that's, that's an easy pick here. Provincial investments, here I'm creating the claim. And they want olives from Epirus. 
currently I have a plus which increases my local slave happiness, which I don't really need. I think I'll go for the money instead. Okay, I will already move my main army to down here. So I'm going to use it to invade them. Do they have any meaningful allies? Should have checked that before. Lepron. And this tiny thing. Defensive league with quite a few. They're all tiny shite, basically. But I'm inclined to bring more men. I've got the funds. I could do with a shitty leader in, if need be. Obviously this will leave me quite vulnerable up here, so I'm possibly moving them up. It's going to take some time still. Okay, I think I can do an open. Yeah, let's go for money again. Blessing of Pluto. That's my man, Power Pool. It's great. I would like to conquer all these, basically. They have six cohorts. It shouldn't be much of a problem, in particular once I've buffed them. Let's build two more principes and two more abilities. I can consider going for yet another invention. Reduce the build cost even further, maybe. Now that I've started with it. Is there a way that I can see my uh, inventions here? Now there should be one uh, for uh, religious endowments. So I'm considering going for state religion happiness or navy morale recovery. Let's go for uh, happiness. Okay, army morale recovery is also something interesting. This is a level zero thing. A hot-headed slave with a talent for oration. What should I do? Roman slave gets killed. I get tyranny. Divide the group and deal with the leader. Gives me less popularity, and there will be less slave output. And I lose political influence. Could he be useful? A Silverton character will appear. And I would lose lots of popularity. Let's do that actually. And check that guy out. He is called Hostos Losers and Septimus Fabius. Let's check him out. Um, well, Septimus Fabius. Well, he's not that great after all. Just an oratory skill of six.
As soon as I hit like 80%, I will start working on the army and navy morale. I need to make uh, territorial gains before Macedonia blobs too much. Should also conquer something like Athens or this league. Okay, they are at war with lots of people. They only uh, allied with them. Seems like an easy target as well. Seventy-one percent. Well, this is a very decent army. Well, supply limit is 20 only. Here it's 75. Oh, see, I've got forts here. And this is just hills. Let's go here first. Okay, oh, I nearly missed it. Let's pause quickly. Uh, where is it? Economy. Fleet and army maintenance. I should have more ships than him. Yeah, easy. Oath of Brotherhood, maybe? Army morale recovery? Minor character, don't really care. Lunacy. He was the governor of Greece. Okay, we now have the claim, which is good. Okay, I need new governors. The lack of governor, research needed for martial advance. Let's use the best I can get, which would be this minor character. And whom shall I make a uh, governor? He seems okay. Shoot, tactically inflexible, crafty, monotonous, lustful. Hmm. Holy math. Research points increased if governor. I quite like that. Good nature, selfish, holy math, modest. Let's go for him. Okay. I'm almost up to full morale. One more tick. Let's already declare on them. What's going to be my aim? Take Crete. They won't join me. Because allegedly they don't have military access and so on. The others will. Okay. Need one more tick, I guess. Hard to take. Head of the country family and likely to be the next co consul. There's the tick. Embark. I think I'm going to take uh, take them first because otherwise it might be too tricky with the sea invasion. In the midst of a fo follow season. Was and lavish party demand payment to the territory. Is that the new? Oh man, that's the new guy. Demand a payment to the territory. He would lose money and loyalty. Demand his resignation. That was increased the local tax quite a bit. Wow. 
this would give me local tax and local unrest reduction. Let's do it. And we've got this other guy we can use, and he was a minor character anyway. Let's go for him. Let's see how he does. Now, do I truly have more ships than they? Not necessarily. Taking a bit of a risk here. Okay, and I even got some slaves. Well, they are not fighting, right? I need a different map mode. Okay, there's a fort. Let's make the war goal. Take Crete. That's the entire thing, right? I think I'm going to attack them here. Try to take their main settlement. Now they want olives from Epiros, they can have them. I think it's because of the war here. Obviously I'm going to need my ships over there. Okay, now they are forming. I might need to squash them. They are locked in. Okay, I can only go this way, unfortunately. I need to wait till they are locked in, I think. Or I can just go and follow them. They are locked in. Okay, this is going to be not the most advantageous fight for me. I'm the attacker against bad terrain. But I've got the way superior troop. I need to beat them right now. They get their reserves. Better. I even have some heavy infantry. Obviously, I didn't bring enough men. Estimated them. Now I did a better roll. We are defeated. At least I brought the ship back on time. They will need to recover. Let's say here. to bring in more troops. Stockpile disappears. Buy it back, I'm not interested in that. Well, for 100 we could do it. Let's 
do it. I've got a scorned family, a fabi. You can take the job. everywhere but here I'm going to land here again and then consolidate my position from there or now these my enemies as well I believe they are I could land over here take roads out of the war the new ruler was elected okay he looks good Unfortunately, I was hit by a stability drop. I'd need my siege army. What level is it for? Level 1 only. Let's get the siege army ready. Without a siege general, though. It's a bit shite. He's a siege general. Let's use him. And let's actually give them three more guys. All right, they are almost full again, right? Twenty-six thousand. Let's go for army morale recovery. I will need that. So go for primary culture happiness. Could make a sacrifice to the gods. For some stability change, let's do it. One more tick. Let tribes win go. Now let's do the forced redirect them to something more appropriate. I don't want to lose people. Okay, now embark. You can also embark. Okay, now I'm coming with 41,000 men. That should do the trick. Then next I'll bring in the siege army to siege down Carpathos. This is like my main target here. Could you go here? What the hell, that was the wrong ship. Damn it, and he's been imprisoned. Well, it doesn't really matter, he's a shite. Guy and apparently they are not scorned. What's going on here? White pace may be face forced upon me. So I need to make some progress now. Yes, in conquer that, for example. Let's send down our main force here. The other one here, actually, should be okay. Because they've split up. Would they grant me access? No. I need to be ready to move them away, because I don't want to be attacked. Ok, 
Okay, they are coming, I need to go. They will attack me. Do I want to take that fight? How much for baby? No, I can't afford them. No, what if I was to go there as well? 26, that would be... The numerical superiority would be great, it should be okay. Might lose. Okay, the, there's even a river crossing. It really sucks. Come on, I need to roll better. I need to win that fight before they arrive. We are victorious. During the struggle, 11,042 of our troops were killed and have killed the same number of theirs. After success in a number of battles, Vivius Decius has begun to display exceptional ability in the field. Okay, that's good. Archer's discipline, horse archer discipline, light infantry discipline, at least something. Now, we will continue this fight in the next episode of Let's Play Emperor Rome. Thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.